materials. And basically, that is anything that, you know, oh, okay. not anymore. Some of the stuff we just make up. We think about a, a look that we're going for, something in the music, you know, maybe we just start experimenting. And we just make it up. Okay. So, Jamie's modern band, and one day we were out practicing, forgot what we were doing in the game. But she did this thing called the Barrel Jump. This is just so adorable. Like. And I looked at that and I said, wow, isn't that badass? I said, I bet I could grab you and throw you right in the middle of that jump. <laughs> right? And we thought about it, and believe me, she's laughing at us. She's like, wow, that's not a good idea. What can we do? So she went in and said, okay, how's it going again? Like that. What if I just picked you up right here and popped you that way? Okay. <laughs> And thus, we have the beginning of the barrel jump. She called it the cracker barrel because we were out on tour. Or maybe, uh, anyway. But, um, you know, it kind of looks like this. Right? Ready? Yeah. Oh, so cool. And then we were thinking, yeah, we should come and see some of the crash. Right? It'd be kind of cool. And then we, we did, you know, we had some test people that we tried to teach it to. We realized, ooh, I don't think people can do those barrel jumps. <laughs> <laughs> but they did a flip, right? And I don't know, the guys were like, yeah, I'll be able to do a flip. Just go up on the shoulder. So we came up with a different entry. We came up with this entry right here. Nice and straight. Okay? No diving. Yeah, don't throw on yourself if you're going to fly the lane, you know, for a sudden death. Um, so, what happens is she comes in with a little bit of a turn and she hooks the right hand around the neck. Okay? And all I do is I put her on the right shoulder. Just like that. That's just like that. And I just whack my legs behind his neck and start to catch. So it's not as hard as it looks. And then, right now, she's balancing. She's going to take my left hand and push her out. Okay? Momentum is that you know it adds directional force, so we already have you know half a flip happening around 
backward circle, forward, backward, just like all over the place. So, you know, like you guys have been doing, the spotter will be in the spotting position and everybody else that's around the group just basically stand there and, you know, get ready to jump in. So, what you want to do now is you want to torque your follower away by committing a contra body rock step out, right? And then have her come back in and spin. So she gets this, so she gets this forward moving spin, right? And it's forward moving uh, jump. If she has a little bit more forward momentum, it's easier for the leader to scoop it around, right? I mean, I can throw Jamie like this all day long, but what I would prefer to do is make it a little bit easier. So she's here, comes in. Yeah, I mean, it didn't really require any effort for me to put her up on top of like that. So, um, what it is, it's, um, I'm torquing her body, I'm leaning my shoulder forward, and then I'm walking over to my right. One, two, three, step down, catch the back of his neck, and then jump. So while she's doing that, while she's doing that turn, do you turn? Where's her arm, where's her arm, where's her arm? There it is. You have to put your neck in there and give her something to grab onto, okay? And as soon as you put your neck in there, then you have a connection. It's easy, right? If you miss, you can't really do anything. She's gonna jump and she's gonna move forward. Yeah? Yeah. So as a dance teacher, you see that, right? You see that what we're really doing is we're lining up our hips. But what I'm thinking about, go ahead. What I'm thinking about is putting my hands under her, uh, on top of her arm, right? I need to give her something to grab onto that's solid. Do again. This isn't very solid, is it? Right? This won't really work. Maybe we can make that work, okay. right? This won't really work either. Yeah. Do you understand? So it's up to the leader and the follower both to kind of put themselves in that position. But, I don't go too far. I'm but, looking for him too. But the end result is where we've been for the past 15 minutes here, okay? Except for there's energy flowing in this direction. Okay, so when you start to have energy, the spotter, the primary spotter for my team is going to make the decision as to when they go around to change to spot position number two. You may not be ready for that yet. Some of you guys may be working on this one for a while. Um, what happens is if the spotter thinks that you can safely get on the shoulder, the spotter's going to move behind. And they're going to assume that your leader is strong enough and that your follower's jump is big enough to get to this position so that they can move to part two, right? Comes over here. The next thing that we have to worry about is spotters is making sure that you don't go flying off in this direction, right? So here, Jamie comes up over here, the spotter's over here going, what are we gonna make it? Okay, so um, let's get back to our groups. We're gonna be a little careful with the momentum, but basically, here, contra body, and kind of scooch a little bit, allow my follower to get some momentum, and then up, right? And then very slowly, I'm gonna be right here, I'm just gonna let my follower fall to the left side, okay? And please, if you slide down the leader's shoulder, please engage your feet and your legs, all right? We don't want you just to fall and slip and go. Okay, all right, back to your positions. <laughs>